Hello from the Music Interview Corner. We are here in Helsinki in the Musik Italo with Remedy from Sweden. And I'm here with Rolly and Robert. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for having us. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for taking time for the interview. Before you founded Remedy, you were playing uh, as a guitarist with multiple really big Swedish musicians. And then you founded Remedy during the pandemic when you lost all the work due to touring cancellations. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, I was a session musician and touring with, you know, different artists as a guitarist, musical director and so on, but lost all my jobs due to the restrictions, you know, like yeah, over one night, basically, you know, I lost everything. Mm -hmm. So I didn't touch my guitar for almost three months, almost lost my passion for music. But at that same point of time, Robert was also having a bit of a struggle. He had cancer in his throat, oh in his tonsils. God. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, he was having cancer and I lost all my jobs. But in this bad situation, we started, you know, writing rock music. We formed a band, we got a record deal and released an album. So that's like the short story of Remedy and everything. So this truly was our Remedy. You know, the name Remedy comes from mm -hmm. that, yeah, that thing. This was our Remedy in a very difficult point of our lives. Wow, amazing. Do you want to add anything to that? Are you fully okay now again? Uh, well, I think in one year, um, uh, like that, I'm cancer-free. Since then, it's five years since my uh, treatment w ended. So yeah, and uh, when when I got cancer, it was the same time as COVID uh, happened, and Rolly was working with the, these songs, and I came over to his house, and we did some demos. And I felt that my voice had, because uh, when you get radiation, you lost, you lose a lot of like saliva in your mouth, um, and I still have that problem. Uh, you do after after that treatment, uh, but um, so. And I felt that rock was because we we been playing music our whole lives, but and it started with rock. But now uh, after this treatment, I felt like. Well, rock music maybe suits my voice a little bit better <laughs> than than um, before the the cancer. So I felt that well, we should do this uh, because of uh, my voice and it suits uh, suits rock music in that way. Respect, because it must be so scary for a professional singer to to lose the voice due to throat cancer. Yeah, well. <laughs> I wasn't that uh, afraid of losing my voice, but I was like aware that it w would be different, and it it, it is different. Um, but uh, it suits remedy, so why don't we do take try to take your remedy as far as we can, and that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, it sounds your voice sounds amazing with the songs, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Thank and knowing your backstory, I have even more respect for your work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Your first album, something that your eyes won't see, was really really successful um it was for example i think in in japan in the amazon hot and heavy sales uh, at uh, ranking at two right behind judas priest how did that feel yeah well that was truly amazing you no know, i grew up listening to judas priest and for us you know just being on the same chart is amazing but you know trailing only judas was uh, yeah, mind-blowing for us so yes you know it, it the first album went over our, our wildest expectations you know we we sold out twice we hit the top charts and and got a huge tour and everything so yeah the, it's been a crazy journey and we enjoyed every second of it how did you experience this time well um it happened fast in one way um but i wanted to we want to expand even more and that's why we're excited for our second album that will be released uh, in this, yeah, just a week. Yes, is it May, May 24th, right? Yeah. And it's called Pleasure Beats the Pain. It, now I really understand the meaning of the title because you had to beat so much pain in the past. <laughs> well, well, actually, Rolly, you can tell more about the album title. Yeah, and I also wanted to ask you, no, first tell about the album. Yeah, yeah but you're, you're correct. You know, life is about pain and pleasure and everything's around in that and, you know, the day and the night and everything. So light and the dark heaven and hell you know so our songs have a bit of everything you know a bit dark and also some light uh, and this is what we intend to you know establish with remy that we have you know both the darkness and the light in our, each and every song mm -hmm. and some songs are quite happy like angelina mm -hmm. uh, on our new album that's like a pop you know happy song mm -hmm. and then we have caught by that our latest single that's like you know a dark mm -hmm. vibe to it so 
yeah, we hopefully we'll have something for everyone on this album. And did you feel like that the huge success of your first album, did it put pressure on you when you were making the second album? No, it just got us more inspired and also to do more uh, like we, the first album, we wanted to, we were quite afraid of what we're allowed to do uh, on a like, rock album. But with the second album, we are more confident in ourselves uh, in that way that we uh, we have some songs with the harmonica on it, and we have saxophones, and we have a vocoder, and we have a song with the strings and acoustic guitar, stuff like that. Uh, songs that we wouldn't dare to put on the first album, but uh, now on the second album, we felt like, yeah, this is Remedy. We do whatever we want, yeah. <laughs> and we're not afraid to do it. It's still Remedy, but it's uh, like, yeah. Yeah, we, we are like a bit older now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Older and bolder. <laughs> and do you have a favorite song on Pleasure Beats the Pain? Yeah, right now, you know, I get so tired of the song as, you know, I'm writing them and producing them and we are recording them and everything. And you, I believe you have the same journey as mm -hmm. I do. You know, we, we listen to them too much, you know, during the process. But at the moment, you know, I'm really happy with uh, Poison and also Angelina, as I mentioned be mm -hmm. before. That was a song, that, you know, that took quite some time to get together. I believe we made like four or five different vers versions of that one before we felt, okay, now we got the song in place. So that's like also a dilemma, you know, when are we satisfied with a song? Uh, but then you need to listen to yourself and what you have faith and belief in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that Moon has the night, has the so much fun in it. I think that the, the saxophones and also I really like the vocoder. Um, that's my favorite from the album. But there's many songs that I like. Uh, Crying Heart is also one of my favorites. And it's also when um, we, we played some of the songs live. And then when you play them live, it can change a bit that you like songs even more than you did before. Because yeah. you can see how the audience reacts and the way the band plays it and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think Moon as the Night and Crying Heart are my favorites right now. But maybe after touring a bit, maybe it will change. Uh, we'll see. We we'll also have some really cool music videos for Moon Has the Night, Crying Heart, and also Caught by Death. And I noticed, I noticed you have your own style. You have a very unique style in your music videos that is recognizable. Who is making your music videos? Who came up with this kind of style? Well, we have um, some different directors that we work with. We work with a group uh, of people called Smack, uh, Smack Media Productions, Smack Productions. Uh, Smack uh, in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, they're helping us out a lot. And we also work with Ted Lindén, who is a big uh, director uh, in Sweden. Uh, yeah, they listen to our songs and we talk to them what we want to do. And uh, they try to do it the way that we uh, want to. Or uh, at the same time, they can come up with an idea and we, we follow that. It's been, yeah, we work, we, there's different talks about how we want to do our videos. But um, one thing that we had a lot with the last album was that we like powerful girls, girl power. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of girls beating up guys. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we like that. And I noticed you always have these cinematic shots of yourself rocking out. Yeah. Even in Moon Has the Night, it's in the apartment setting, and not on stage. But you always have these beautiful cinematic shots of you guys rocking out and playing your music. And you always have the glowing microphone stand. Yeah. Who came up with that idea? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe you. I came up with that yeah. one. And you bought, you bought it. It looks, really cool. it looks almost like a lightsaber. It looks really cool. Yeah, you know, we needed a gimmick, you know, something that defines Remedy. And, and you know, starting out as a new band, we didn't really know what to do. <laughs> But then I came up with the idea and we tried it on your, you know, microphone stand and it turned out really well, I believe. It looks amazing. I like thank it. you. Thank you. But you wanted to say more about girls beating up guys. I didn't want to interrupt you. Uh, no, but that, that's, we like that. That's <laughs> just what I want to say. We want girls to like uh, show who, who uh, yeah, I'm, no, yeah, we like, uh, we like that <laughs> idea. Just, we like that idea. <laughs> In that context, I would like to ask you guys, what's the craziest thing you and your bandmates have ever done on tour? 
we're, I mean, we're, we're not 22 anymore, and we've been touring a lot uh, in our days before Remedy, so maybe we did strange stuff before that. Oh, you can also share that. <laughs> now, but now with Remedy, we try to keep clean and do our best, uh, best concerts, uh, and yeah. I once complained on a pad thai. On, on a restaurant. Yeah, so you're so badass. You complained on a pad. What was wrong with the pad thai? It was too sour for me. Oh, so no, that's, that's not how you guys pad thai cannot be too sour. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So that's like the most rock and roll thing we did. This. In which country was it? Germany. Sweden, Sweden. Sweden, because Germans are so good at complaining. They are. Yeah, yeah. I'm German. I know that. We have like Karens in German, but the Swedish people seem to be good at it too. What did you say? I told them this is not good food. <laughs> did you get a new one? No. Oh. No, I didn't ask for a new one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's, that, that's the Swedish style. Yeah. That you, don't. you just complain and yeah. walk away? Yeah, you complain for yourself or your friends yeah. and then you walk away. Oh, okay. Like cool guys don't look at explosions. You just like create the turmoil and then you walk away? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And also one rock and roll thing at, is that you left your ear yeah. in ear. <laughs> Yeah, I lost my headphones. That cost a fortune. But uh, so now I use China-made ones. Uh, <laughs> that cost a bargain. So. Oh, good. Yeah, this lamp is from China too, but so far it's working well. What are your plans for the future with touring? Well, uh, we're touring in Sweden and we're also going to the UK this summer. We just want to broaden our um, audience and to come out and play and play more. And, and meet people out there and spread our music that's our like the biggest thing right now so that's our plan yeah yeah and the tour starts tomorrow so we are just you know hitting off so okay, we will put all the tour dates here and i'm so glad i i got to catch you here before the tour yeah thank you for having us this was truly amazing yeah yeah, yeah. since you were so successful right from the start do you have any advice for young bands who are starting their career hmm well no. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hard work pays off. And if you really like walk the extra mile, you will get rewarded. So that is what I believe we did. You know, yeah. with every take, we li like made it, you know, some days, you know, we were totally like burned out after the mm -hmm. studio, me and Rob, you know, after your vocal takes, uh, after my guitar takes, because we try to edit as little as we can with the computer mm -hmm. and instead had good takes. So yeah, work hard and, and, and keep, you know, walking the line and you good things will happen yes and and be kind that's good yeah. yes that's yeah. uh that will always pay off in the end yeah i love that i think everybody deserves to be treated with kindness that's beautiful that you're saying that yeah, yeah. and maybe that's uh, easy to think that um, when things are starting to go in the right direction you think that whoa um yeah still be kind even when uh, it goes up because uh, it will always go down a little bit and then it's harder when you have been an asshole uh, so just be kind yeah be kind <laughs> be kind yeah yeah well i yeah be kind that's great that's great you know because that you know so something good always comes you know along with the kindness so yeah mm -hmm. i agree yeah and and people that you meet along the road uh, you never uh, know when you meet them again, and they have another role and you don't. So, yeah, be kind. You have uh, two custom-made guitars from Taisto, yeah. right? It's a, a custom-made a gold and a black one. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Taisto guitars, they are truly amazing. You know, I have two guitars now and they are the best guitars I own. I contacted Taisto for Remedy, you know, when we had this project up and running and asked him if he wanted to collaborate and make a signature model. And thankfully he said yes, and these guitars are truly amazing. So, you know, if you, you're a guitarist, please check out Taisto guitars. They are like world-class guitars from Finland. The name of the brand is Taisto, Taisto guitars, and the model is Remedy Gold and Remedy Black. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, if I could afford it, I would also have one. Maybe after this tour you can afford it. We'll hope so. We'll hope so. <laughs> maybe can can you get him a discount? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we we'll hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if he's nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, with kindness, exactly. If you're really kind. Um, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> and we just showed Taisto. We just showed you some kindness because we're going to put your link there, and we said kind words. So please give him a discount, okay? 
Yeah. <laughs> What's your biggest dream for the future besides getting uh, such a beautiful guitar as Ronnie has? <laughs> uh, well, just for, for Remedy, we want to um, become like Bear. We want to go on bigger tours and we want to release more albums and reach a uh, bigger audience than we're right now. But uh, I mean, we're on the road and we're on the right track. So I think that we're just going to go and uh, yeah, go on what, what we're doing right now. Um, and we're really excited for, for our next album that, that again is released next week um, and see what that takes us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we just got the two-minute mark, but we can still hear your dreams for the future, Rolly. Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, we're just starting off. So, you know, these first two years have been fantastic, and we can't wait to get going and see where the next two years takes us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you guys have a message for your fans out there? Yeah, you should check out uh, Remedy Music Sweden on social media, uh, on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And you talked about our videos, and you're probably going to see them in the description down below. Um, but don't forget to check them out. We've made, I mean, we've, uh, yeah, there's a lot of work down there. Um, uh, what do you say? A lot of work has been done. Yeah. <laughs> and a glowing microphone stand, guys. So check it out. <laughs> Thank you so much for this kind interview and I wish you all the best for the future and for your tour. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And goodbye from the Music Interview Corner.